welcome back. So I wanted to share with y'all, I found a dupe for my lip liner. Um, the most common question I get asked about my makeup is what lip color I'm wearing. And it's always the same. <laughs> it's always Rimmel Cafe LA lip liner. And um, here lately it's been either like crazy for coffee or since I got my Estee Lauder, I've been using that, um, oh, where's it at right here? This, um, the one that come in that little pack, what's it called? Intensified Nude, um, that one. Um, anyway, we're not talking about the lipstick. We're talking about the lip liner. This lip liner has gotten so hard to find. Like, and if you can find it, it went from when I started wearing, it was like three or four dollars. to now they're wanting like $25 for one of these. And I have, I've paid it because I love it. And I have tried different ones and could not find one to come close to the color or the longevity, staying on, all that. So, the other day I was in Walmart and I was glancing at the lip liners and I seen this one. And this is L'Oreal, what's it say? I hate that they do it. L'Oreal Color Rich lip liner and the color is more chocolate and I was looking at this and I'm like that looks so similar to my Cafe Ole. so I brought it home and I've been wearing this for about three weeks now I think um the only difference with that what I have to do with this one that I didn't have to do with this one is I do have to put foundation and powder like foundation, concealer, and powder on my lips because, before I apply this, because this is a lot more, it's a lot more, it's more like moist and soft and this will be great if you have really dry lips. You probably would not have to do this. My lips are not dry normally, so this is just a little too wet on my lips. Um, so I have found that if I do the foundation, the concealer and powder, you know, on my lips and then I put this on and then I put my lipstick on, I have no issues with it at all. Um, but it is a dupe for the Rimmel Cafe Olay and it lasts on me. I don't have any issues with it lasting. Um, so this is what I've been wearing and I've just saved this for like, ooh. <laughs> Anyway, so this is around seven or eight dollars. Um, this is this kind of tip, whereas I prefer the pencil tip. But I'm going to show you how close they are. Okay, so this is the Rimmel Cafe Olay. Okay, that's that. And then this one is. Right? I know. I was so excited to find this. So, I'm going to do my lips. And then I've got a couple other makeup products I want to show y'all for the eyes. Uh, I've been on the look for some um, eyeshadows. And I found some really good ones. And they're so, like, dollar store prices. But I got them at Walmart. So, let me get my lips done. And I'll be right back to show you uh, the eyeshadows. Okay. That is the lipstick on, and I did today use the, um, this is the Maybelline, it's number 275, and it's crazy for coffee. I did use that, and I still use my lip brush anytime I apply lipstick, and then I blot off with a paper towel. Okay, now, for the eyeshadows I want to share with y'all. So, I've been in the market for a good, um transition shade, a good shade like for liner, and a good um, highlight shade for under the brow, and a good shade for like in the, uh, what is this called? Inner, inner corner. <laughs> I like a, a little bit of a shimmer on the inner corner. And so, um, on a different day from when I found the lip liner, I was in Walmart, and I was looking at their eyeshadows, and I come across Wet n Wild. And I picked up three different palettes. I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you my favorite ones. Okay. The larger palettes, which have ten shades in each one, 
They were like $5 and some change. And then the sh the palette that has five shades in it were like $3. And I honestly use two shades out of this one and two shades out of this one. And this palette is the um, Nude Awakening. And then this palette is the Camo Flaunt. And what I use out of this... I use this shade and I use this shade. These are my two shades I use right here. And then the shades I use out of this palette, the Nude Awakening, is I use this shade up here and I use this shade right here. Okay, so what I do first is I take this shade right here on my little blending brush and I just do like the outer and I come up above my crease. So I go right here and come above my crease. And it's just that perfect neutral shade. And if on days I want to deepen this up, I can. But usually I just do this. I mean, and these are really good shadows for, for $3 and $5. I mean, you can't really, really can't beat that. And then I will use the dark brown. Let me wet my brush. I use my little eyeliner brush. So I'm just gonna kinda go in here with my wet brush in this brown right here. And then I'm just gonna kinda like start adding. Like that. I'm getting me some more. And I'm flattening out my brush because now I'm fixing to make a, a slight wing and I just start lining up the bottom. Like that. And then I just bring whatever's left on my brush underneath my eye, real close to the lash line. Like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'll be right back. Okay. I know it looks a little bold, but just bear with me. Okay, so now I take my little smudgy brush right here. This is a Real Techniques brush I got from Walmart years ago. And I take the smudgy part and I just smudge underneath my eyes. And now what I do is I take my Eye Method Beauty eyeliner and I will just do a little bit of eyeliner around the corners because my eyes have been watery and this is waterproof and smudge proof. And so I just do a little bit like right here. Just in case my eyes water, I'm not gonna lose my eyeliner there. <laughs> it works because one day I didn't do this and I was looking a hot mess and I went all over town like that and I was like, oh, no, 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 we gotta fix that. So then I'm going to take my little flat brush. This is, I don't even know where it came from. And I'm in this palette now and I'm going to use this color up here. I'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush and I'm just gonna highlight the brow area. I did use my Eye Method Beauty um, eyebrow stencils, y'all. I can't not do use them on my eyebrows. Um, they have made such a difference. They cut down so much time. And that's how I do that. And then I'll take the same brush and I'll go into this shade right here. I really pack it on my brush. And then I'll just get right in here. So I really want to lighten that up. And there is a little bit of fallout um, with this palette, but not, I mean, not any more than normal. <laughs> okay, and that is how I use those palettes. Now what I do is I will take my blending brush and my little Merle Norman. It's called Barely There. 
and I get some on there and then I just start blending all these harsh edges in. Just blend all that in. I'm not like rubbing hard or pulling my skin. I'm literally letting the brush do the work. And then I will put my falsies on and finish my makeup and I'll be back and talk to y'all in just a little bit. Let's go thrifting. I really need a hat on because it is nasty, nasty, nasty. I did not realize it was gonna be like this today or I would not have even taken the time to try to fix my hair. I would just put a hat on. But it is like that misty, foggy, just, yuck weather um so by the time i get through with this video they ain't gonna tell them what i'm gonna be looking like <laughs> so <laughs> we will share that experience together as it develops so i will catch up with y'all in just a little bit This thrift store has done lost its mind. <sighs> the same sconce I bought from this store that I now have hanging up in my hallway, the exact same one that I paid $4.99 for, they now want $9.99 for it. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you what, they better get a grip. They're selling the Dollar Tree items for $3 and $4. Um, I, I just, I don't know what to think about it. Anyway, I didn't pick up anything at this thrift store. Um, I tried to get y'all some clips of some stuff. But every time that I would walk down an aisle that was empty, when I pull out my camera to try to film, then people would come all around me. So, it's a little bit crazy, but I try to get some clips. They had some really nice artwork. That one big picture that I showed y'all, I don't know how much it was. It had no price on it. They probably wanted a bloody fortune for it. But, anyway, me grumbling about it ain't changing nothing. The only thing that's going to change these thrift stores is people stop buying and paying the prices they're asking for items that was given to them for free. Just, I, I don't get it. I just really don't get it but anyway <laughs> I ran over ran over <laughs> um so I'm really not gonna have y'all a thrift well, I'm not gonna have me a thrift haul <laughs> to share with y'all <laughs> um I did pick up a bagged item at one of the thrifts at the first thrift store I went to and I really like it just one of the items in the bag so I'll show y'all that I'm gonna stop at the Goodwill on my way home We'll see. I mean, it's a sad day when Goodwill beats American thrift store prices, but so far they've been better with the prices. Okay, I don't have a massive thrift haul, but I have a few things. What is this? Oh Lord, y'all, this weather is so bad. <laughs> like it is so cloudy and foggy and just, 
<sighs> anyway, so let me show you what I picked up at the first thrift store, the one in Biloxi. Let me take it out of the bag, but it was a bagged item and it had two items in it. I didn't want this one, but I did get it for this. Let me show you. So I paid $2.99 for both, but I got it for this and it's cross stitch. And it's the scripture, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me with a little butterfly. I absolutely loved it. Oh, it's got a note on the back. For Jean, in Christian love, Glenda Stringfield, June 1984. I love it. And I know right where I'm going to put it. So, I picked that up. This is cute. It's just not something that I want. I don't want this, but I will probably take this off, this little hanger, and I may even use it on this. I don't know. But anyway, so to me, this was worth the $2.99. It's a beautiful scripture. It's handmade, and it's in a, a pretty little frame, so I got that. And then at the Goodwill, I picked up this for $0.99. Cents. I needed another bottle because I got to mix up some more of the grout stain for the other bedrooms, for the two bedrooms. And so this one will be enough to do the two bedrooms because I had more than enough when I mixed up in the other color bottle to do the living room and hall. So I'm gonna label that bottle in case I ever have to touch up anything. And then I'll label this bottle master and guest room. So I'll know what's what and I'll just put some, um, saran wrap underneath and screw the top on and it'll be fine but 99 cents that is cheap i actually ordered some bottles from amazon they were going to be i was getting two of them for like nine dollars so i'm going to return them and get this keep this because it's perfect just what i need it's got the measurements on the side i don't know if y'all can see that it's got the measurements on the side so it's perfect so grab that i looked to see if they had any more if they didn't Picked up this cute little frame. I love how vintage and old it is, 99 cents. Love it. This might be actually where I take this part off and replace it with this little hanger right here. I might do that. So I picked that up. And then the last item I picked up, y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but there's a reason for it. <laughs> I picked this old little fire truck and I paid $2.99 for it. I don't know what it was for originally because it's got like where it could be mounted to something. It might've been mounted to a board or something. I don't know. But James's daddy used to be a firefighter. That's what he was doing when he passed away. He was a firefighter. And so I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna set it in there on the shelf in the man cave office, whatever, as a little nod to his daddy. And it's just like a little old vintage fire truck. I just thought it was so cute. It was $2.99, so I'm gonna put that in there as a little nod to his daddy. So y'all, that is my thrift haul. That is it. Um, tiny, but I love everything I got, and everything I've got, I know what I'm gonna do with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these few things styled that I, I'm gonna get these two things styled and once I do that, then I will go around and show y'all how I styled the last items from my thrift haul. And I will also show y'all my upper cabinets, how I have those styled for the ones asking to see that. And yeah, then we'll just see how long this video's gotten. So we're in here in the office, man cave, whatever you wanna call it. But here's where I've put the little fire truck, um, that is James's daddy's flag from when he passed away. And I just love having the little fire truck in here. Just adds to it. Um, this is a lot of James's special pieces and then pieces I've added in to kind of go with it and decorate it. But, you know, we have a son who is a ranger and we're from Mississippi. All of this is thrifted with the exception of the lamp kit and the beads and the Maker's Mark bottle, let's be real. But all of this, even this part was thrifted. Um, it had a regular, it was a regular lampshade and I just tore it apart and spray painted it. And of course the plant is not thrifted, but <clears throat> the books, the eagle, the napkins, 
the Mississippi, the lampshade, thrifted. And then about, let me see, I think everything up there is thrifted and on the top shelf is thrifted. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> and then all of this little part is thrifted. Now my brother let me use that, that's his, but if he ever wants it back, it's his. But even my America the Beautiful is thrifted. That little pillow is thrifted. That cover's thrifted. That dolly is thrifted. The quilt James's mom made. Um, and I'm trying to look over here. And I want to say pretty much everything over here is thrifted as well. Yeah, pretty much everything. There's a few items that were given to me, but the majority of it is thrifted. And this is thrifted. I remember finding him in the thrift store and I was like, oh my gosh, he's perfect. <laughs> so, yeah. discuss everything I have above my kitchen cabinets. Um, I will show y'all and try to tell you where I got it. And yeah, so let's get started. I wish I could smell the house. I've got red beans and sausage cooking. And this house smells so good. Mm, wish they had smell-o-vision. <laughs> Except for when you're watching hoarders. Kind of glad we don't have smell-o-vision when you're watching hoarders. But anyway, let me flip the camera around and we're going to start on this side. Okay, so... That little chicken come from Hobby Lobby. The dipper belonged to my great grandmother. The butter churn, my daughter in love gave me. And I have an old vintage picture back there I got from the Goodwill for $1.99. That bowl is so old and it got cracked and I didn't want to get rid of it. So I just kind of glued it together and I just set it up there. It's green, it goes with everything. So, that's what that is. Um, my scale I thrifted, my little hen basket I thrifted, and I did fill it up with eggs from Hobby Lobby. That print is from Hobby Lobby. That little lantern was a thrift flip, and then I have several bowls, old bowls, just stacked up with green ring and an old dolly. That chicken in the corner is a, actually a weather vane my mother gave me. That little colander type basket, I'm not sure what it is, but it's got little holes in it. A sweet subscriber sent that to me, Deborah. She's become a very good friend of mine. Uh, the old cast iron tea kettle, my daughter in love gave me. The little bent, the little stool was a thrift flip. The chicken was thrifted. The old basket was given to me by my mother and all of the rolling pins in this basket were thrifted. The home sweet home came from Old Time Pottery. The basket and all the other rolling pins with the exception of the one that's laying straight were thrifted. The one laying straight belonged to my great aunt and she used it all of her life. <laughs> And then there's some old doilies. The old potato masher was my granny's. Those old wooden bowls my mother gave to me. That chicken came from probably Fred's or Old Time Pottery years ago. I'm talking, uh, let's see, at least 25 years ago. Um, the planter come from Fred's and the ferns and berries and stuff. But I just added those. Those, that chicken painting, my mother painted that for me. That lantern 
was one that I had that I just put up there. Those chickens were thrifted. The wreath come from Marshall's, the old fan my daughter in love gave me. The wooden dough bowl my mother gave me. The chickens were from Hobby Lobby, but I made them over. The sifter was my granny's. The brass lamp came from the store. That chicken my mother gave me. And the wooden box was a thrift flip years ago. My mother gave me the box and I just kind of made it over. And that is how I have my kitchen. The tops of my cabinets decorated. And I'm slowly working on kind of getting to this side now. So, yeah. But that's everything up there. And yes, my air kicked on, it's hot. It's so hot. So there you have it. That is how I have my upper cabinets decorated. Um, I know it might be too much for some people, but I love it. Um, we did add the lights late summer. They come from Lowe's and I love them. They have a remote, so I just click on the remote. And it is amazing how much light they provide in this kitchen. It, just, it blows my mind. But anyway, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you, you were some of the ones asking to see the upper cabinets. All right, y'all. That is going to do it for me today. I am so sorry that there was nothing more exciting going on. But this is life. This is a day in my life. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed learning about the lip liner, the eyeshadow, um, and I hope I answered your questions about seeing the upper cabinets. And I hope you liked my little thrift haul and where I put everything. And yeah, so I will see you in the next video, y'all. Bye. Mm -hmm.